Hi, I'm Dave Young, and today I'm going to show how you can take a Circuit Studio design and import it into Altium Designer. This would be a great feature if you're looking to start with Circuit Studio at a lower price point, and then later you realize you want to upgrade to the full feature at Altium Designer. So uh, we're going to take a look at this multi-vibrator project that they have you build when you're just exploring the program, no big deal. So we've got a schematic, and we've got... A designed PCB, you can see it's, um, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Easy thing to deal with, but um, yeah, it works, right? So uh, we've got two files associated with this, the PCB doc and the schematic doc. Uh, you'll notice that this says CS PCB doc, so this is a Circuit Studio PCB document. The schematic doc goes back and forth between Altium and Circuit Studio, no problem. Uh, my favorite thing to do before doing any importing or any of that stuff is to copy the files. So let's start by taking these multivibrator files, and I'm going to take the schematic doc and the CS doc. I'm going to copy them, and then I'm going to just paste them on my desktop. Uh, so that way I don't mess up the existing project that I have. Okay, now that I've got that, let's open up Altium Designer and talk about what you need. So in the admin panel up here in the extensions and updates here, you want to look at installed uh, and configure your plugins or your extensions rather. Um, down here you can see that the Altium PCB I've got checked. So uh, if that was not checked, I'd have to check it and then press this apply button, but we're all set. So the all team platforms ready to accept things. The files are copied. Thankfully, there's no exporting from Circuit Studio. You just take the Circuit Studio files and move with them in Altium. Let's get started. So we go File, New, and Project. We're just creating a normal project, PCB project. This is default. Uh, we're going to put it on the desktop, and let's name it uh, CS2AD. No big deal. I'm going to create a project folder. Okay. So I've got nothing there. No big deal, because we can start by adding existing to project. And actually, before I do that, let's take these two files and put them in right into the folder. That'll make it easier to deal with, don't you think? So we'll go add existing to project. And we can look right in our desktop and find CS to AD. And I'm going to open the schematic straight away. Let's take a look at it. Perfect. Everything looks exactly the same as it did in Circuit Studio. Just a quick comparison. Great, no problems. Uh, so those can be opened and transferred easily back and forth. Uh, the next step is to bring the PCB doc into Altium, and that's where the importer has to happen. The first step that has to occur is you have to uh, add new to project and PCB, and this is the only counterintuitive step where you need to add this PCB doc to the system or to the project before you import it. So now that you've got this blank PCB doc created in your project, then we can go File, Import, Altium PCB. And we once again want to navigate to the folder that has the design files in it. And it's right here, Open. Give it a minute. And there we have it, our nice design has come into the program. If I want to switch to uh, 3D, light green, whatever, um, and we can rotate it around. Looks exactly the same as what the last one looked like. Uh, so you can edit this, change it, you're running with the program. I always like to save everything and make sure it works by running an ECO, so I'm going to save this document, um, multivibrator dot PCB doc, save. Okay, that's saved, and then let's save the project. Um, and let's run a differences to create an ECO. So it says, hey, you added this PCB doc, okay. Um, I'm going to update PCB, and then create. Great, execute, wonderful, and we're done. Everything's all set. I save it again, just make sure I'm okay, and I can move forward with my design in Altium. If you like what I was showing you here today on the video, you can check out in the comments below the article that goes along with it. 
in case you want to read up on more of the features that go back and forth between Circuit Studio and Altium Designer. Thanks so much for watching.